Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create this full width slider which covers pretty much your whole page. We're going to be using some custom CSS code which I'll link to in the description below. So this is the final page we're going to be designing. And if we take a look here on the top, we can also cycle through the slider. Okay, so I'll be showing you how to create this. Today's tutorial has been made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. And also, if you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course called WordPress Mastery. All the information to that is in the show notes below. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using Divi, I have a course which, is, which has a discount at the moment, so you need to hurry up before the price goes up. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so right now I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. We're going to start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We can call this page whatever we need. So I'm just going to call this slider 2. Click on use the Divi Builder and then we're going to go straight to the Visual Builder. Right, so let's start off by adding a brand new full width section. So I'm going to click this plus button, click on full width. And then we're going to scroll down until we find this full width slider. So we're going to start now by adding our first slider. So I'm going to click this plus button here. We're going to add our heading. So I'm going to use Lorem 2 just to make things easier for me when it comes to adding demo content. So I'm going to copy a bit of the text here, which we're going to use as our title, as our heading. I'm going to paste it. For our button text, we're going to call this by now like that. And then over here, we, need, we also need to add some content. So I'm going to come back onto Lorem 2, copy some text, and then I'm going to paste it in the content area like that. Great. So moving down, we're going to come over here to the link and we're going to add a placeholder link like that. And then we're going to come over here to the background. So we are going to add a background image, which is going to go behind the slider. So we're going to click this third tab, click the plus button. And then we're going to choose our image. So the image I'm going to use is uh, this image here of this guy on the uh, bike. I'm going to click upload an image. So we can see now our image has been added. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the slider as a slider which promotes our product. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to image and, uh, image and video and upload a product image. So I'm going to use, let's say, this image right here. Click upload an image. So now you can see that our image is now placed beside our text. So over here on our text, it's uh, aligned center. I think it would look much better if we aligned it to the left. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to design text. And then for the text orientation, we're just going to align all this to the left. Great. Now we need to customize the text and just make sure that we have the right uh, sizes. So for the title text, I'm going to click here and reduce that to about 40 because um, it's slightly too big. Okay, so that's looking great. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an overlay because this image in the background is a bit too bright and it's not allowing our image to be read easily. So let's come over here to overlay, click on use background overlay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a color. So I'm going to click here and choose our color from the palette. And then to show our image, I'm just going to drag this slider until a little bit of the image is revealed. So I think that's enough. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then I'm going to go ahead now and save. Great. So what we need to do next is to add two more slides. So to do that easily, I'm just going to clone this slide we've just created and make two more copies of it. And then I'm going to come over here into this gear icon and we're going to change our information. So we're going to start with the image and video, click upload, and then I'm going to choose a slightly different image. So I'm going to choose this one right here, click upload an image, and then I'm going to come over here to background. We're going to change our background image. So I'm just going to delete that, click this plus button. So the image we're going to use is the image of this car right here. Click upload an image. So now our image, our car is in the background. So the overlay can stay as it is because we want to keep consistency. Great. Now let's move on to our next one. So I'm going to go back, click the gear icon, 
and then I'm going to change my image one more time. Delete that, click the plus button. So the image we're going to use is the image of this fighter plane. Click upload an image. So all is looking great now. It's time to change our product here. So I'm going to click on image and video, click upload, and we're going to use this image. Click upload an image. So that's looking really nice. Now let's go ahead and save. Right, so let's just cycle through these and just see if everything is there. Okay, so that's looking really nice. I'm happy with that. Now let's customize our page. So the first thing we're going to do here is just to drag our, our slider part to the top like that. So right now we can see our background image is being cut off. So what we can do is we can actually add some CSS code to show more of this image and center everything. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to expand settings, click this settings icon, advanced, custom CSS, and then I'm going to paste this CSS code in here like that. And as soon as I've done that, you can see now that my image has become full screen. So let me just save this for now. So now it's looking much better. So you can actually go in and uh, go back in and customize uh, this color if you wanted to, but this give us, gives us a, a better perspective of how our page looks. So I'm just going to click this slider again one more time to see what's happening in the background and that looks great. And then I'm going to do it one more time and that also looks really nice. Great. So if you want to use the CSS code, I'm going to include it in the uh, description box so you can go ahead and uh, use this technique. So this is how you'd actually apply this full width slider. So what you want to do here is perhaps maybe just add some more information to the bottom of uh, this section just to balance the page. But this is where you can use uh, elements from uh, pre-made layouts. So in fact, let me show you how to do that. I'm going to publish this first so that we don't lose all our information. Okay, and then I'm also going to save it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some content from our pre-made layouts. So I'm going to click this plus button here to load from the uh, layout. And then we're just going to come over here and choose. Let's go ahead and choose this simple layout pack. And the part we're going to need is um, over here on this section. So let's go ahead and use this layout. Great. So you can see here that everything has been added below this uh, huge section over here. So all I have to do now is to go in and delete all the sections that I don't need and leave the sections that I need. So that's all we need now. So I can always go in and customize these colors to match my branding. So I'm going to come over here into the module settings, click on background, and then I'm going to come over here to this color, change it to my own color. I'm going to also do the same like that save. And then I'm also going to come over here to these icons and do the same. So I'm going to click on this first one, design, image and icon. I'm going to change my icon colors. Okay, so I think I'll go with that. So you want to go in now and change all these colors just to make sure everything matches like that. So this needs to be a rule of thumb every time you design your page. You have to make sure that all your colors work from your color palette. Otherwise, you're going to lose consistency in your uh, designs. Okay, so this is the final color. So as you can see, things are looking much better now. I may even go in and uh, change the title here. In fact, let me do that because we want to make sure that everything looks the same. Okay, so I'm going to choose color. I'm going to go with this one. Save. So now we can see we have some consistency in our design. So I'm going to save the final uh, page and then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. Great. So now we have a fully functioning slider. I can uh, cycle between these slides. And if someone wants to scroll down, you can further see information at the bottom here like that. OK, so this is how you create a full width slider using Divi. Now, if you want to use this layout, I'm going to uh, save it so that uh, if you want to use it in your designs, you can go ahead and download it. So if you want to download it, I'm going to include a link to the post in the show notes below. So you can just download it, use it, and uh, perhaps maybe even change the colors to match your designs. But pretty much this is how you put this together. Today's tutorial has been made possible by DiviCake.com.
www.dvthemes.com. Check out the huge selection of DV Themes layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please support me by giving it a thumbs up and also sharing it. If you want to learn more about WordPress, I have a free course called WordPress Mastery, which you can access using the link in the show notes below. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using Divi, I also have a course which currently has a discount. So you need to hurry up because the price is going to be going, is going, to be going up very, very soon. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.